guys, it's me and today I want to do my August favorites for you. It's a little bit late week and a half, two weeks late. That's okay though, right? But I just wanted to share with you guys what I've been enjoying for the last month. I thought about kind of making this a fall favorites video, but I feel like we're not deep enough into fall to do a video like that. And also there are some candles and stuff in my fall favorites and some other things, but it's too GD hot out still to even talk about candles and soup recipes and all of those things that I want to talk about, which are fall related. So instead, I'm just going to do a little bit of a late August favorites for you guys. So starting off, I want to talk about what's on my lips right now. This is the Kat Von D uh, Everlasting Liquid Lips in Project Chimps. This is a beautiful, beautiful red. It is the right amount of like orange, brownish, red, kind of burnt red. But it's not too blue, but it's not so orange that it makes my teeth look yellow, if that makes sense. I've noticed that if you get too brown of a red and you don't have those bluish undertones in there, your teeth start looking kind of dirty. This is not the case. It's just like the perfect warm red and it goes really, really well with my new red hair. So I've really been loving that the Project Chimps color is limited edition and part of the profits from the liquid lipstick will go to Project Chimps, which is a nonprofit organization for chimpanzees. So I thought that was kind of cool. I found this at Sephora. It was staring at me at the cash wrap area and of course I was just like, I need that color in my life. And I'm glad I picked it up. It is very, very nice. It's not super drying, which a lot of liquid mattes tend to be super drying on my lips. It stays in place for a very long time. It doesn't really leave a stain either on your lips, which I really, really like. Like when I took my makeup remover wipes and wiped it off, there's a little bit of a reddish tint, but it wasn't like, oh my gosh, I was wearing lipstick. Why won't this come off? That kind of thing. So I really do love this color. Again, it is limited edition though. So get your hands on it for fall because I think it's a beautiful fall color. If you saw my Makeup Geek review, I'll link that video up here, you will know that they sent a lot of awesome products, but there were a few of them that stood out the most to me that I've been absolutely loving this month. The first one was one of their blushes. I've been kind of stuck in a rut just using the Becca Cosmetics Songbird blush for the last like four months, and it is still an amazing, amazing blush, but this blush has just like... I've put Songbird away. This is Infatuation by Makeup Geek. It is so gorgeous. It leaves the most beautiful, natural, flushed look to your face. It goes really well with bronzer. It just is very beautiful. All of her blushes are super pigmented and they are only $15 a pe like a compact. If you just want to buy the pan, they're only $10. Super affordable. You get tons of product here. And again, they're so beautiful and so pigmented. Like I just love this color. I haven't, I haven't put it down. Like it's, it's so amazing. I also love the packaging. I always talk about packaging, but the packaging is just like amazing as well. So I would highly suggest trying their blushes. I'll leave links to all the products I mentioned below this video, but I just, I would definitely try the Makeup Geek blushes because they are amazing and super affordable. I would say that they are just as good as the Becca Cosmetic ones, if not better, and their price is a fraction of the Becca Cosmetic ones, so try them out. Another Makeup Geek favorite of mine has A, been just the whole palette that they sent me, but in particular, there are two colors that I have been obsessed with and have been using just daily. The first one is this foiled color right here. This is in Mesmerized. I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you'll be able to see because my lighting is kind of bright right now. I'll try to tone you down. Oh, this is the lowest it'll go. I do have it right here in my crease area. It is just really beautiful. Again, it's not showing up very well just because my lights are so bright. This is the most beautiful, like purple, just shimmery brown color like it's just so gorgeous it goes on really well and it's just very 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 flattering so that is my first favorite and then my second favorite is the color shimmer shimmer this is very comparable I think to naked lunch by Mac but it's a little bit different I love this color I've already kind of made little dents in it because I've been using it every single time I've done my makeup I not only use it as a highlighter underneath my brow bone but I use it on the inner part of my eyelid and then I also use it as a highlighter. I don't know if you can tell, but like that highlight right there, that is shimmer shimmer as all I'm wearing as a highlight and I love it. The last few vlogs that you guys have seen of me, a lot of you guys have commented, oh my gosh, your highlight's so on point, this and that and so pretty beautiful. It's an eyeshadow. I've been using shimmer shimmer as a highlighter and it's just, I love it. It is gorgeous. So I would highly suggest picking this up. It's $6 a pan because you can use it as a highlighter. I've used it on my nose too, but you can use it as a highlighter. You can use it as just like eyeshadow. Like it's just amazing. It's absolutely amazing. So definitely this is like a eyeshadow to have like 
go pick it up. Shima Shima. It's very good. And it's super affordable, guys. Six dollars for a pan. Six dollars. Since I'm on the roll of kind of talking about eyeshadows, the next favorite of mine is Kitten by Stila. I've had this for a long time. I don't know why I stopped using it. I think it's just because I went through my period of time where I was like, only matte shadows. Uh, but this is such a beautiful, beautiful shadow. A lot of you guys asked me what I was wearing on the inner corners of my eyes in the L'Oreal, uh, I think, review video that I did. This is what I was wearing. This is actually what I'm wearing right now, right here in the inner corners and like the teardrop in, in the little inner corners of my eye. It just does the most beautiful just like I don't know it's so I don't even know how to explain it it's so pretty and it's so creamy and it's so pigmented and it just goes on and mm, it's a beautiful color but if you just like dab your finger in it and then just put it on the inside corners of your eyes it's like instant like instant just like bam like it's beautiful so I would highly suggest checking this color out kitten they put in a lot of their palettes because that's how much it's like loved across the world like it's just a beautiful color another product by pixie that i've been loving is the lower lash mascara they sent me their whole new line of mascaras and i will say that i was not very impressed with the fiber lash one it's like the unique one i don't know if you guys have used that like the 3d unique lash mascara whatever i would send one of those to try a few years ago which i did a video on those I did not like very much, and that's basically what the Pixie Mascara was, but it was only one step, like the fibers were already in the black mascara. What I did not like about it was that it really stung my eyes. Like, if I got any of it in my eye or touched it, it burned like crazy. Um, so, I wasn't a huge fan of that, but other than that, I really did like all the other mascaras that they sent, but this one stuck out the most. This is the lower lash mascara, like I was saying. It's got the tiniest wand I've ever seen. Like, it's like a little micro wand. Like, I don't even know if you can see the little, like, teeth or bristles in there. They're so tiny. It's just perfect for doing the lash line, and then also just, like, the inner corners of your eyes. I do have a Clinique lower lash mascara that I really really like and I've mentioned in a few videos but the brush is completely different the brush is a little bit shorter I like how long this brush is because I can basically just horizontally like you know get all of my lashes so I really really like this and again it is super affordable because it's pixie it's a drugstore product but good job pixie like I really I dig you. This is really nice. Face products this month, basically, I just have two that I've really been loving. The first one, I'm out of. If you guys want to see me do an empties video, I've, I've actually remembered to keep the products that I've been, like, using up the products of, and I've been keeping the packaging, so if you want to see an empties video, let me know. Just to talk about what I like, what I'm replacing, what, you know, that kind of thing. Let me know below. But this is one of those empties that I kept because I'm so sad. This is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. This stuff is amazing. I use the color Tan 07. I basically use this year round. It gives me like a nice natural looking tan during the winter and I just kind of warm up my neck. And then also at, during the summer when I'm a little bit too dark for it, I just deepen it up with a bronzer. But this stuff is amazing. It's broad spectrum SPF 30, which I really, really like. But I noticed that even with flash photography, I don't get like a white cast which is really really nice um, but it's so nice I apply this with my beauty blender and it's just it's amazing I don't need a lot either I only use a little bit and I've been using this for a long time like it took me a really long time to use all of this and it's just I love it like when did I do my review of this like I probably been using this past the suggested like expiration date but I just love it I love it so I am definitely replacing this because it is a favorite and sits on my face really nicely. I'd say it's low to medium coverage. You can build it up definitely to medium coverage. It's not full coverage, which I'm not a huge fan of full coverage. I'm wearing full coverage today, and if you could see me in person, it just looks cakey. I'm wearing the Kat Von D Locket foundation, which I thought I liked. It just looks too cakey. I've seen, I, I know full coverage, a lot of girls like that, but just for me, I like my natural skin kind of coming out a little bit. I like the like not looking like I have a lot of makeup on in regards to what my skin looks like. So this is just perfect. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. It's light, it's moisturizing, it's affordable, and I really, really like it. So I will be replacing this, and this is definitely a favorite of mine this month. Another favorite that is actually almost half gone. Like, how did I use this much of it? When I bought this, I swear, when I bought this, I was like, oh, I'll never use that whole thing. It's half, it's over halfway gone. Like, that's amazing. This is the Becca Backlit Primer. This stuff is amazing. I keep saying amazing, but it is amazing. I love this stuff. It just gives a really nice illuminating look to my face. It's moisturizing as well, and it just, all of my makeup goes really well over it. It just goes on seamlessly, and it just doesn't, it just stays. Like, it stays put all day, and it just looks just 
glowy. Like I look glowy when I have this on. It really does look backlit, at least on my face. Um, I do have oily skin and I don't feel like this is too over oily. It doesn't make my face look greasy by the end of the day. Um, if anywhere that I get greasy, it's usually just like right here. But you know, during the summer, I usually fix that by using my Step 1 Equalizer Primer by Makeup Forever. So, But during the winter and fall when I start drying out a little bit, this stuff everywhere is just like beautiful. So I have been using this a lot, especially underneath the Kat Von D Locket foundation because I noticed that that's a little bit drying on my skin and this and that go really well together but again I don't think I'll be using that foundation much longer because I just I'm not a full foundation girl that's just not me I've realized but that's okay, everyone's allowed their own opinions. Last but not least, let's talk about my nails because a lot of you guys have been asking about them a lot lately. Right now, I am wearing my favorite color of like, I'm gonna say of all time. Like this is just the most flattering color I've ever worn. I love it because it's very neutral. It can look fancy. At the same time, it can look casual. It looks just, I don't know, it's just really pretty. This is a gel nail polish and I just get the most compliments and the most questions about this polish, especially because I've been wearing it nonstop for the last like eight videos I've done all my close-ups people are like what are you wearing and this color is by Jellish these are the Jellish minis I picked them up at Sally's because I was too lazy to get my gel polishes from the old house so um, I went to Sally's and they were having a buy to get one free so I did pick up some of the Jellish polishes just to try them the polish I'm wearing right now that is my absolute favorite is called exhale I will say the gelish polishes are very 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 confusing because exhale is probably the closest one where the stripe around the bottle looks like the actual color but none of the other colors I got matched what the little ribbon was around or the nail display at Sally so I actually took back quite a few because they were like one what looked like it was supposed to be like a light pink and it ended up being like a bright orange and I asked the lady if they'd gone bad and she's like no this just the displays are probably gone bad or this or that I don't know but the packaging is very deceiving so I will forewarn you about that so I would definitely open up the actual bottle and look at the brush before you buy any of them but exhale thankfully was a very beautiful color so I've been using this non-stop I will use another color like I think I had hot pink on my nails yesterday and I just did not like it I was like oh this is not exhale and I peeled it all off because I was so lit like wanting to switch my nail color so badly I didn't soak it off I peeled it off which is terrible for your nails but I was in such a hurry to get back to this color that I just peeled it all off just sitting there and then repainted my nails because that is how much I love this color I will say in regards to gel nail polishes and how they apply this one applies really well it's not as opaque as I would think that it would be it did take three layers to get an even opaque opaque color, but they are beautiful. Foundation and the top coat were really nice. They didn't bubble. They didn't, they went on evenly, which I really liked, and they dried evenly. A lot of times with some foundation or top coats, they don't, they clump in an area, so you'll have like a wet bubble. Um, if you do at home gel nails, you'll understand. But so this is pretty much foolproof. You can just put it on in a light layer, and it really does go where it needs to go. It smooths out, it dries evenly, so you don't have that issue. But yeah, so I've really been loving gelish polish. A lot of you guys have asked like, oh, does that mean you don't like Madame Glam or you don't like OPI anymore more or shellac? I love those products too, but just I this is a new one that I'm trying and I really like them. So I've never tried any of the like full-size gelish bottles, so I'm not sure what the difference is between the mini and the gelish because they seem to have two different Instagram accounts I noticed, but I, hopefully it's just the bottle size. I don't know. But yeah, Exhale is really, really nice and I got it in the top coat and mini. And then I also picked up this pH Bond by them and this stuff is great. It's basically a nail dehydrator. You can use this if you're doing at home gel or even just regular nail polish. This is really good for people who have oily nail beds. I tend to have oily nail beds, which means that my nail polish will peel off sometimes, like if it gets too wet or even just if something hits it the wrong way, like I've had the whole nail polish just peel off in one piece. So if you have oily nail beds and you have an issue with keeping your nail polish on, I'd highly suggest trying the Jellish pH Bond. It works really, really well. It actually made it my manicure last like two whole weeks without chipping or anything like that. So you can pick that up if you are doing nails and you have that issue. My nails are currently short right now because if you saw my Diva Cup review, long nails and menstrual cups do not go well together. So luckily this nail polish though still looks just as elegant on short nails, which I really like as long and it's just beautiful. So that is definitely my favorite right now. You'll probably hear me talk about it again in a fall favorites video, but 
Yeah, I've been loving that. So again, that's Exhale, and I think you can pick that up on Amazon as well. So again, I will leave all the links to all these products underneath this video. So yeah, that's it for my August favorites. Thanks for watching as always. I probably forgot something, but if I did, I'll add it to my fall favorites video that I'm working on. If you like videos like this, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any questions about any of the products. And of course, subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. I post videos basically two to three times a week. I've been really, really good lately, if you guys noticed. I've been making a point to like stay consistent since I came back. So yeah, that's it, and I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye.